but pretty calm sea really. Um, I see the old, uh, old cables going in and over here, they're still happening. Not many others on the beach, looks like we've got one person down the end here. And that's it. So, set up base camp up top, get some rods out. Well, base camp, both rods are out, both are on uh, essentially just one up one down rigs and both with a bit of squid and mackerel on at the minute um, and obviously joined by the resident seagull. So yeah, so rods are out so we will uh, see what the next sort of three, four hours brings. Um, Still pretty calm out there on the sea, and it looks like we are going to have one hell of a sunset as well. So, yeah, I'll get some pictures of that as and when it happens. Now, if I don't catch today, this is going to be my first reason of them poor angling. I mean, look at the state of this. Honestly, it wasn't a planned trip. I mean, this is, yeah. Not the freshest. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna glug it in some of the uh, oils that we make at home. We obviously keep from the Mac Hall in the summer. And just hope that despite the fact the bait's terrible, the fish are hungry. Uh, anything's gonna make the fish bite. Gotta be making a cup of coffee, isn't it? Gotta be. I mean, Pretty much every time I do this, when I just want five minutes, maybe I actually don't want the fish straight away. It always results in the fish. Normally when I'm pike fishing, I've got disarray everywhere. And just the sandwiches and the coffee come out. That's when the bite happens, so let's pray on that one. Goodies. Excellent. Head with the Twix. Perfect. Well, not a blank, so that's good. A little white in. Yep, yep Wilson, he spat the hook. <laughs> okay, cracking little fish. Undersized, really. Certainly smaller than I want to be keeping, so. Yeah. Awesomeness. I've got this one back. Alright, so. Nothing revolutionary with what I'm fishing with. Get rid of the old bait from the last cast. Essentially, all I'm doing is 
taking strips of mackerel. I think you've seen the bait. It's not the best in the world, but whiting don't seem to care. Let's go in through the flesh side, like that. Out through the skin. Mind your fingers doing this. Push it over the knot. And back through the flesh side. Back in through the skin side, like that. Pull this down, that just anchors it on the hook. It's as simple as that. If you want to, you can just tip off, you know, just a little bit of squid. Just to have a little teaser there. It's been flapping around. Bit of attraction for the fish that are out there. And that is it. Nothing fancy on the rigs. Keep it as simple as you can and please make sure your hooks are sharp and you'll be fine. Right, get these back out. Well, nice double shot of whiting. Kind of wish I was uh, out in a match or something really, probably just cut, cutting size so yeah, cracking start. Well, that's a better whiting. What are we looking at? Hold on, mate. Yeah, no, I'll get that sorted in a sec. Come on. We are looking at. There we are. On there. Whoa. 31, I reckon. Just. Yeah. Nice. Well, you can just about catch me in the uh, in the darkness. Um, good session in the end. Um, I had 12 whiting, um, which is a pretty good result. The uh, bait I was using was pretty dire, to be honest. But uh, it's about being out on the uh, the beach, really. Um, so yeah, cracking sunset. Really nice <laughs> hunter's moon coming up as well, um, and a few fish. So I really can't complain at all. So yeah, until next time, I'll see you soon. Hold on. Well, <laughs> done the outro. Let's reel the last rod in. And that is a clonker of a dab. A belt and fish. Thick as well. Cracking way to finish the session.